After you complete a normal pay period, you have the option of performing a bonus run. This can be very useful if revenue advise that they want part of a redundancy payment recorded under a different PRSI code. By using a bonus run, you can process a second payment run in the current period. You can also print a second payslip for your employees and if required, produce a second bank transfer file for upload to your online banking software. Before you set a bonus pay period, please ensure that you've completed your payroll processing for the normal pay run. You should also check that your payroll status at the bottom of the window is reading end of period. Once you've completed these tasks, you're ready to set the bonus pay run. Click set period. Select the bonus run checkbox. The insurance week's value reduces to zero. This is correct as the normal pay run has already recorded the correct insurance weeks for this period. To continue with the setting of the bonus run, click OK. Check the payroll status at the bottom of the window. It should now indicate that you're in a bonus run. To process your employee's pay details, click Enter Time and Pay. Select the relevant entry mode, then click Continue. Select an employee that you want to pay. By default, all payments and deductions are ignored on the employee's timesheet. You must manually select them. Double click on the next available line, then select the relevant payment. Once you've done this, enter the value. Repeat this process for setting up deductions as well. Once you've entered the relevant payment and deduction details, click payslip. Once you're happy with the details on the payslip, you can close it and click save. Repeat this process for any other employees you want to save a timesheet for in the bonus run. Closing a bonus pay period is no different from closing a normal pay period. You must run the end of period process and once you've done this, you can generate your pay slips, reports and take a backup of your payroll. Once you're ready to set the next pay period, click set period. Change the period number. Check the details are correct, then click OK.